Hi, Iris. Now, your Wednesday with death. Definitely transitioning yourself from this point of awaiting what is happening, when it's going to happen or so. It's happening, it begins, opportunities, opportunity is there and you are ready, more than ready to take it, okay, to take on that opportunity. And death on Wednesday comes because of this situation, because of these two days. Finally, you will transition yourself from this waiting period into this constructive, active period. You see what I'm saying? You will be creative now. You will move on now. You will be busy now. You see what I'm saying? You wanted to be active and this is transitioning period for you. Look, paired with Seven of Swords. We don't like Seven of Swords. It is unpleasant energy, energy of thief, okay? And I kind of feel that on this day, seeing this new opportunity which you are having suddenly, that you will abandon something which you prepared already, something which is supposed to grow, something which you waited for, something which you studied, something which you've been busy you see, with. Or, or You see what I'm saying? You did have something kept you in one place, you waited for some development, you've been sick of waiting for that development, but you were with something here, this is major arcana, you were waiting, things were happening, slow movement, snail space, and it seems to me with Seven of Swords, you will show yourself a bit impatient, okay, that you're not going to do it, perhaps you will be thinking to abandon whatever that you've been doing till now, even if you, perhaps, you planned to get big results, supposed to get bigger results later on. You will agree that you're never going to go and get those big results and results which you wanted, okay? You will take that what you're going to take, that what you have, and you will abandon every single opportunity for further growth with that earlier on which you did have. You did have something earlier, okay? It was slowly developing or standing in one place for a very long time. This new opportunity will prompt you now to think about abandoning it just because you do have something new, something exciting, and you will transition yourself towards another career, another job. You don't have patience, you don't have power to deal with this, with this waiting, with this stagnation. You do have something new and you will gladly go for it. Excitement, fire suits you much better. You cannot drag your feet. You cannot wait forever. You see what I'm saying? You cannot go that way. It's not your style. And this idea on Tuesday will exactly bring miracles for you. Finally, you can move, you can do, you can create. And this Wednesday, I really believe, is just an acknowledgement that you don't have to do that what you used to do. You don't have to be there anymore. You don't have to wait anymore. You can go into action and create something else, something exciting. You see your way, clearly seeing a way how to create it, to land it, to make it happen. And I really believe on Wednesday it's um, just your acknowledgement that you will transition yourself from one job to another, from one career to another, from one situation to another. Something which lasted, you will abandon. This is something which lasted, but you will decide to abandon it. It just doesn't go so fast, it doesn't go enough fast, it doesn't, doesn't go at all, you know. And you will abandon it. You've got something new on your mind. You will just decide what I've got, I've got. I'm not going for more who knows when and if I'm going to get anything else out of this. You've got a new opportunity. You will transition yourself. You'll just move on. Whatever that you get, you get if you get anything out of this previous thing. So yeah, that's your Wednesday. Hi, Taurus. Now, Wednesday, with the judgment, no judgment is final decision, okay? This is change in a way that what is um, visible now, on this day, what is announced is the, the final. On this day, you will sign that contract and project is yours. You are signing for that job, job is yours. You see what I'm saying? Whatever that was that you competed for, okay, that you and other people wanted to have. You got it and on this day, on Wednesday, will be announced, okay. Taurus got this job, Taurus got this project, Taurus has this money or something. You got it, okay, and it will be, this is just announcement, this is final. 
Nobody can anymore change this situation. It's a new situation. It's yours. Belongs to you. You wanted it and you were having it on this day. It's, um, it's public energy. It's for everyone out there to hear it, to know it. Queen of Wands, yeah, you were so so excited about this, what is announced today, this, what you've got today. This is important for your future. It's about the money, it's about career, it's about business, and it is important for your future. The situation is certain, it's happening from this point on, and I really believe this Queen of Wands, this exciting energy, this exceptional planner and creator of the future, <laughs> You are having it because of that, because now you have it for sure, okay? You don't have to worry about other people or will it go your way or not going to go your way. Will you have it, will you not? You are having it, you've got it, you can begin to plan your future with this, what you have on this day, what you got in fact on Tuesday. Queen of Wands is exciting, it's fearless, brave energy, now it's easy, from now on is easy for you, in that sense, the Queen is queen is excited, I will create it now, I'll do whatever I want from now on, because I've got this, you've got something, you've got change of situation, it makes you so happy, makes you excited about your future, jolly energy, still capable, okay, to create something in the future, to do something for themselves or so, um, and you were having it within yourself, very excited about what you were beginning now on this day, being that you struggled a little bit with people for this, what you have here on Wednesday. Hey, Gemini. Now, King of Cups. We can talk people these days, hey, eh? Gemini, lots of people around you, this earth sign. To me, like your parents, like bosses, but people who are working for you, working with you, this is energy within you, okay? You are feeling that this is good for you, this is solid for you, can bring you solidity, can bring you money, it's a good business for you. You see what I'm saying? Can stabilize your life. And then you are perhaps happy with yourself. But look, King of Cups could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces person, somebody out there. Could be the very same person, maybe your father. Okay, understanding you, where you stand, what you do, what do you need from this life, from this business. Okay, you want to stabilize yourself. You want long-term stability. You, you want certain income month after month. Perhaps that sort of attitude, that sort of, sort of character that the very same person is taking now. But anyway, emotional, stable energy, capable energy, dealing with um, whatever unforeseen circumstances, whatever situations around, a very calm energy, dealing with every eventuality, calmly, steadily, diplomatically. This is diplomat, this King of Cups. Very lovely energy. Temperance, sparing it. Very balanced energy, and understanding where you stand, what is happening right now, that it's not all about you, okay, could be a lot about other people, okay, Gemini, and perhaps that what you understand on this day, it's not just about you, you've done your best, you do your part, and then another person is, is doing their part, then third one is doing their part, and you are waiting for your turn, you see what I'm saying, temperance might talk about that circumstances around lots of people around every single one does have their duty does have their obligations does their part in the whole situation and that how situation developed that how it moves forward very much being aware of it okay that time will tell time will pass time will bring it will take you to your goal eventually, you and other people working together towards the common goal. Maybe something like that. But could be that you were realizing today on Wednesday where you are right now, what is happening right now, and that you are very patient, very much aware of what is going on. The whole energy on this day, King of uh, Cups, Temperance, is one uh, energy concentrated in you, showing yourself with awareness, okay, about circumstances you found yourself in. It's suitable for you in a way, will take you further, you just need to be 
patient and balanced to allow situation to develop, to allow people to do their part, you to do your part when the time comes for you to do your part. You see what I'm saying? Awareness of your surrounding, of where you were, how much time it will need, what needs to develop, what circumstance is supposed to develop in the meantime. All of it, okay, it's mostly about being aware of your surrounding and you within, in the midst of that situation, understanding your role in all of it, um, definitely. And being very calm, very satisfied, understanding it and accepting it. Very balanced energy, this uh, temperance. Nothing wrong this Wednesday, very calm energy, understanding, absolutely, you have full understanding where you were and why that suits you. Or even if it doesn't suit you, accepting, okay, that it has to, in that sense, this Wednesday. Hi, Cancer. Wednesday, with King of Pentacles. Oh, now we are talking different story. Now we have something very solid. Now King of Pentacles represents person, perhaps Capricorn, um, Taurus or Virgo person out there, maybe your father, somebody older, somebody rich, influential, somebody who does have it, their own business, okay, successful business. Um, maybe your boss at work could also be, but could be just a situation which brings stability. We said here on Tuesday that it is transitioning period and a new situation will bring stability. This night was working towards that stability, heading towards that stability to complete the project, to get the money, to get the job or so. Now, perhaps a Tuesday was just period, just a day which you're supposed to pass until you get to this point. Certainty is here with King of Pentacles. Now you've got that stability, you've got that money, you've got that project completed. Now your money will be paid on your account. You see what I'm saying? Stability you reached here on Wednesday. This or that way, through another person or through, I kind of felt it's just your job, <laughs> that you just did your job and you have completed it and perhaps on this day you will... Um, you will get paid or you will finally get proper job offer. Proper job offer you are getting now. You've got your information. Yes, you are accepted. Um, but this wouldn't be your first job. Okay, this would be something which you know how. This is kind of just getting to higher level, maybe to more prominent position to the leadership position or you are getting bigger salary much bigger salary or you are changing job and that job is much more lucrative for you you see what i'm saying the lovers is standing with this king of pentacles this job this security of some sort material security will last okay it's not just for now this will stay in your life you were on another level right now it's kind of this what you have achieved now by wednesday will elevate you seriously, will bring security, will stabilize your material life, your financial life, okay, very much. This is financial stability. These two very auspicious for your good business, for your financial success, for your financial success in general, in your life. And this is very, very stable. And this is for the long run. This isn't stability just for this month, okay? This is stability which will be lasting one. That what you have achieved here will be lasting right from now on. Very lovely this Wednesday. Big achievement in your career, okay? And secures your financial stability. That's, that's most important here here on Wednesday. Financial stability and long-term financial stability present here on Wednesday. Hi Leo. Six of Swords. It's a bit easier now. <laughs> Turbulent waters. This person is just leaving behind, going into Kama waters, into safer place. You see what I'm saying? Now it's safer. You are going towards Kama safer. Something you know already. Many worries. Okay, you 
you don't have to worry anymore okay perhaps perhaps now you know what you're supposed to know now you have a little bit of experience um, and you're not gonna be failing this time you know how to avoid this failure you know how to do it right and you were going slowly towards better towards happier breathe sigh of relief this energy okay it's now it's better now I know now it's good now I can you see what I'm saying it's a movement towards a better and feels easier just like that today on Wednesday and it's paired with King of Pentacles now King of Pentacles is a serious solid energy we can talk Capricorn Taurus Virgo person okay that is right now on your mind that you have this person on your mind as somebody who will stand by you, who will help you, who will work with you, who you look up to or, or something like that. Could very well be something like that because you do have movement towards. So could be person that you want to be close, you want to be like that person. Um, and person is, as I said, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. But it's also some business mind serious business mind this is person that makes money and serious money this is stability long-term stability this is income which covers long term okay this is perpetual income which is certain from now on this is business this is maybe your father okay we can talk business solid thriving business which is on your mind you are going to okay make that sort of business solid grounded thriving business which will secure your life that is certainty which you are caring within yourself that what you want you want to stabilize your life financially materially in the long run okay and you are slowly going towards that's your goal that what you going to be you want to be savvy business person okay that how you train yourself you are inexperienced perhaps in this field but you were going towards better times better for yourself you're going to be more grounded you're going to be more secured you're going to have more knowledge you're going to have more experience and you will be that savvy business mind eventually you see what i'm saying perhaps that what you have on your mind that what you want to be. maybe you're starting your own business and your idea is to make it thriving business for a long time this isn't just the one project which is supposed to bring you money once off no this is something which is supposed to last so that what you have on your mind this stability groundness whether through some person which you were looking up to maybe you are looking up to your father who is experienced business person or you're seeing yourself like that or it's a business that you're seeing like that but we were talking stability safety security groundness something which is something solid you are having on your mind that what you are doing that way you are heading okay that's your goal down there that's what you're gonna be that your business is going to be business solidity um, financial security you are heading towards it okay that's your Wednesday Hi Virgo, Three of Swords. Now Three of Swords is disappointment, is a sadness, is a heart broken, it's heartache. Now could be being that energy is out there, it could be that somebody offended you, it could be that somebody else is offended looking to find some comfortable shoulder to cry on, um, it could be that somebody is telling you about third parties. Uh, uh, trouble okay could be that you are seeing something on the TV some terrible news something out there um, yeah might be you could be you could be somebody else with eight of swords it says you don't have visibility you don't have answer um, maybe somebody else is telling you about being heartbroken having some sort of trouble, whatever trouble, and that you don't have answer for this person. I can't tell you. I cannot advise you. I don't have answer for you. Could be that somebody is now suddenly rude with you, offensive with you. Somebody is, um, I don't know, hurting you somehow, and that you, again, do not have answer. You don't know how to get out of it. There is heartache through somebody else's story or your experience, but there is heartache, there is something offensive, there is something which 
hurts, still hurts out there and you don't have healing power over it. You will, you will perhaps soon, this energy doesn't last long, usually doesn't last long, and Eight of Swords, once it pops up, says you are very much aware where you are standing, what your problem is right now, that you have to free yourself, you have to get rid of this heartache, you have to begin to forgive or forget, you have to allow it to fade and go into the past. You see what I'm saying? These two energies might indicate your awareness that you have to get rid of this. You have to allow it to dissipate. You have to find some closure. You have to find your visibility, okay, in this matter. Um, but on this day, you don't have it. It's only, it's only that I see positive here is your awareness that problem is too much for you and you don't need to have it, okay? It's obstructive right now. You can't deal with it. You can do nothing with it but to let it fade away. Nothing else but that. If it's another person, again, you don't have answer on this day. You will feel terrible pain of that person but you'll not have answer. You'll not have solution for another one. You do not have solution or answer on this day. It's just awareness that pain is unbearable and you have to somehow find a way to let it fade away, to forget, to forgive or something. You are very much aware that you have to do it. That's compulsory. You cannot carry on like this. Your Wednesday. Hi Libra. Now your Wednesday with the Two of Pentacles. This is decision process in a way of making decision. I don't think it's yours, okay? Particularly because it's outer energy. Sometimes Two of Pentacles is about you to make decision but often particularly when energy is out visible you know decisions or just a process okay ongoing process and eventually one will prevail that is the process that how it's going to happen and you are just waiting for things to happen as they're supposed to because one of these will prevail and another one will die down or so or somebody else supposed to make decisions, some entity, some business, somebody out there and you are waiting. This is nervous waiting. Buy yourself some time until this uh, conference, until this law, until your salary increase. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You were, you know, nervous about that. You were waiting for that final outcome. Two situations, same time. You you know, with this two of pentacles, you do have something. Expecting something important. Expecting some sort of favorable situation. This is two, almost equal. They're supposed to replace. One's supposed to replace another. This was your salary. This was your income. This was your employment. Now, we'll be replaced with something incoming, with another income. You see what I'm saying? And, and you were waiting. You know it's happening. Things are happening. It's just now, just now. It's going to happen. Just now, just now. Decision will be there. That law will come to power. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Buying yourself some time and the nerve energy waiting to to just bridge this period and then this new will be you know present will be established <laughs> and you can move on with the new or so decision will be made eventually no it doesn't take long this energy doesn't take long but is but it's uncomfortable doesn't hold so much fears and other tools okay but it's uncomfortable you know very edgy very nervous could be that you're lacking money. Often this energy, this nervousness, agitation you find when you're supposed to pay your bills and you don't have enough. You want to buy something and there's no enough. Now you want to go and buy something else which you do not like much. You see what I'm saying? Or you're going to put your credit card to pay whatever you're supposed to pay and you wouldn't like that. That nervousness, you know, when you do something which you don't want and you have to also. No, money related usually with the two of pentacles. Now it's paired with a tower. Now tower is erupting within you. You were changing. It seems this change is going to be big or you were expecting big change. The tower is unpleasant energy. 
and and it is a you yeah energy is within you and it seems to me i told you this is nervous energy waiting for something to prevail or waiting to, for that increase waiting for some for some money which supposed to be certain or so and uh, it seems to me it's so important that you cannot wait you hardly stand your ground and you cannot take it any longer any longer to wait any longer to delay because it seems your life depends on it in a sense your security your stability you want to start your new life look the emperor supports that like you do want to start your new life just you are waiting for this new employment for the first salary to come after that employment you see what i'm saying that kind of situations when you buying yourself some time okay you will have your salary you've got your employment you've got your stability but first money will come at the end of the month or maybe next month and that what you are waiting you will scrap it down you will start from scratch you will be different person you live different life you see what i'm saying in that sense you supposed to start something completely different for yourself Yourself. just for this eventually to prevail <laughs> in that sense a bit uncomfortable so uncomfortable energy here on Wednesday like you can hardly stand yourself like you don't any more feel yourself you don't recognize yourself you are waiting for something else and right now it's a ruin within you you know it's gonna be better you know it's coming just now but it's not here and that what was isn't there either you see what i'm saying like very very uncomfortable moment psychologically mentally very uncomfortable moment for you here on wednesday hi scorpio wednesday with the high priestess secretive energy maybe mm, something related to your past connected to your past surely Maybe some knowledge which you are expecting, you, or you expect to know something uh, somewhere these days. Uh, knowledge is around, okay, with this energy, knowledge is around, and you are expecting at any moment to know, okay, something. Whether to know it from within yourself or, or from some outer source, but you know that you will know, <laughs> okay, with the High Priestess. You know that you will know. Eight of Wands says you are preparing yourself. It's intense preparation, okay, you were having this intensity, you were even planning stuff, you are making to-do list, you are planning how you're going to execute, how you're going to bring it to the ground, how you're going to begin that growth. It's a very important, intense energy. It is within you, you are intense, but very secretive out there, very Scorpio, eh? it screams Scorpio, you are intense, you've got your thoughts, you've got your plans, you've got everything within you, nothing out there, nobody knows knows what boils within you okay these are strong creative energies this eight of wands there's so many wands creation creation doing things planning but this is doable okay this will create something just now wands are landing down begin new growth in that sense this preparation is very important that what happens within you is important because it will be out there just now and will begin to create you won't talk about that nobody will know what you are after what you are doing what you are preparing yourself for nobody will know about that you'll be very secretive but as i said it boils it will just erupt supernova out there you will create a new world out of yourself in that sense very lovely very secretive yourself Hi Sagittarius, Nine of Pentacles, no this is lovely, this is you showing yourself beautiful, popular, rich, successful, this is success, Some something you accomplished, definitely on this day Nine of Pentacles talks about accomplishment and it's your personal your personal accomplishment and this accomplishment is a meaningful okay for your future from this point you're supposed to now Continue or start something new, either to continue in the same way, okay, or to start something new. Very, um, very auspicious energy for popularity, for those of you who are... Um, I don't know, engaged with the public through YouTube, through movies, through music, through, I don't know, 
politics or so, um, being popular on this day. Some sort of accomplishment brings this new starting point for you. This accomplishment, this money could be money as well, that you received some money for your job, well done. Um, is again starting point you know this is magician number one begins something but this something is easy for you from this point since you accomplish this since you manage this now it's easy magician always thinks oh for me that's easy i'll do it chop chop easily that's nothing for me that, that sort of feeling you do have it in yourself and that's why I'm saying since you've got here this success, this accomplishment, this achievement, this money, you can now easily do something else based on that. But anyway, beautiful Wednesday, very confident, you know, oh now it's easy, now since I've got this, oh I can do, I don't know what. But it's a very confident day for you, um, Sage. Hi Capricorn. Wednesday with the world. Now the world is completion and the normal is positive card, you know, um, meaning some period of time is finishing. You being doing something with that within that within that period of time, you know that why um, why this period is important for you because you've been studying within this period of time. You've been at university, so you educated yourself, you managed to find your profession. You raised your family, you something within this period, okay? And now it's closing down, it's finishing. You've done what you have done. Lovely. Hey, the last and the first. Ace of Wands is a beautiful idea, beautiful beginning. Might be something which sits on that what you are completing right now. Without this, you wouldn't have this idea. But this is a beautiful moment, okay? This beautiful turning point. This is to turn, okay? This is finished, this is beginning, just extension, just natural flow of energies. But this one is something which you really love. Ace of Wands is something prosperous, something great, something you're passionate about, something you really love, you're excited about. This idea you want to make or that you like, okay? It is opportunity for you there. I think you are creating it yourself, being that sparing um, world energy, says that you were sitting on something which you have completed, you've done it, you've got experience, you've got something based on that which was within this period of time, which is concluding now, successful conclusions, and based on that, you are beginning something else. New idea was born, and you are so excited about that. Beautiful this day, it's, it's kind of turning point for you, in a way. So that's your Wednesday. Hey Aquarius, Wednesday with the chariot. Now the chariot is the winner, okay, trained competitor. <laughs> One who will go for the trophy, one who want to be popular, who want to be visible, okay? I will win, I'll be the best. Everybody gonna see me, how good I am. I'm not good, I'm the best. And in that sense, the chariot is the winner, as I said, and you were them. <laughs> you are the winner, Aquarius. Beautiful, I love this. Wednesday, you are the winner, okay? You are marching towards that winning place you will be promoted, okay? Perhaps you are waiting for your promotion tomorrow, day after tomorrow, in October or in November, but you are going to get your promotion, you will get your salary, you will get something. You see what I'm saying? You will get something. You know it. And this winning energy shows certainty, okay? Just that what I told you here, you don't care which one, as long as you have this, <laughs> one of these, doesn't matter which, you will win, you will do something with that, you will succeed with that, it doesn't matter which one, you will make something out of it, you will make a lot out of it. You are certain, and like like moment when you're supposed to bridge, okay? Just to bridge, go to another side, and there you are on your winning path. There is success down there for you. And from that point on, nothing stands on your way. Just this one to finish. Just this decision to be made. Just this to get. And then is all right. And then is great. These two are really great. 
both of them are talking winner. <laughs> you know, you are winning here. Just as I said, just to bridge this moment, just to buy a little bit of time. From this point on, from a Wednesday, you'll be fine. You're going to win. You'll go there. You'll be promoted. You'll be successful. Your business will thrive. You see what I'm saying? Whatever that's on your mind, you will. You are on the way there. Certainty stays. Particularly with the chariot and uh, with the chariot out there, it says you've done it all. Whatever that you needed to do, you trained yourself, you learned, you practice, you I don't know, but you are ready for that. What is in front of you for that business, for that career, for that job, for that money making thing? Are you ready for it? Okay, and it's just about to begin. Nothing to stop you. Absolutely nothing. All ready, just to move on. Beautiful. Hi Pisces. Three of Wands. No, Three of Wands is exciting energy. It talks about a new endeavor, new something which you were establishing already. At least you announced what you're going to do. Okay, from now on I'm doing so and so. I am studying that and that. I will be with that and that person. I mean, you said what you are after. And it is that what you have said is out there for other people to digest, to give you some response to, I don't know, whatever that they will. Maybe you were awaiting now for some approvals, okay? Like you decided that you will travel, okay? Now you were waiting for those visas and stuff. Could also be something like that. But as I said, exciting energy. Often, often you do something for the first time. And that's why this excitement, this looking forward to big open place in front of you, because it's first time, you don't have experience, you don't have anything concrete to fill it up with. You need to experience it for the first time or so. Could mean change of career, often the change of career. Change of residence as well, relocation, travel might indicate that kind of things as well. With the store, very platonic, big dreams, big expectations out of this, whatever that you announced here on this day. This is something brand new. And you announced, you stood proud, you stood happy, excited about person you told you love. You will be traveling far away places. You are so looking forward to it. You are so looking forward. You've got so much hopes for this, what you said today, for that new relationship, for that, I don't know, new career, new business. That what you have started here. You established and you announced you've got so much hope in it. This is what you love. This is what you are looking for. This is platonic dreams, hopes, expectations for this new, in this new, what you have started here on Wednesday. Very excited about that. <laughs>